Hello YouTube, how is everyone doing? It's Professional here. Welcome back to my playthrough of the GTA of the Ballad of Gay Tony. Let's wait for that phone call from Tony. We're gonna get it soon. D, bro, what's happening? I've organized that face-to-face -face with our good friend, the Celebinator. Oh, shit. We're gonna show him a good time? Yeah, I thought we could persuade him that we're not such bad guys after all. He's meeting us at the heliport on the West River. We're taking him out on a tour of the city. I wouldn't miss this. See you there, T. Okay, so the Celebrinator has responded to that comment that we posted on his website. Let's get to the chopper. Um, and I think that you're gonna be borrowing Yusuf's chopper on this. Um... Okay, get a taxi, you get there faster. Where can I take you? I know a fun. The fascists. So this is a, drive there, this is a continuation of um, blog this day. right now. Let's get on over that helicopter, and this is actually a pretty funny mission. Looks like the celebrinator is already inside. There he is, right in the back. Shoot you wanted. You're really gonna let's go. First on the agenda is a trip over Happiness Island. Get us some altitude. Luis, meet our new friend, the Celebinator. Place to make your acquaintance. Yo, do you got like a real name? Or do I gotta call you the what's it? This is a gaze I wear in public. I ain't preferred if you called me the Celebinator. Okay. It's a lovely helicopter you've got here, Tony. I'd love to say this was mine, but I'm just borrowing it off a rich friend of mine, Mr. Yusef Amir. He let us use it because it's such a special occasion. This is a very grown-up gesture of yours. I thought it'd be just tit for tat from here on in. What you mean tit for tat? You just started insulting us on your website. We ain't done shit to you. I'm not naive, Louis. The Derrier launch, Mason, it's fifth birthday. He left me off the list. It was a deliberate snob. What you talking about, man? We never even met you. I was on the scene, Louis. Fuck it. I on the scene. Me. Why? Leaving me off of them list. It was a declaration of war. So I fucking brought it. Oh, yeah. You want the looted motherfucker, man. Having a website don't make you the scene. Mm, exactly. Now, Lou, we're trying to charm him. So... Time he asked, what's it gonna take to get me off your box? Excellent! Blackmail's a language I know only too well! Your problem is that you think you're operating in a vacuum. The blogs are just as important a part of the ecosphere as the clubs. Hey, right, a blueprint that you should follow. The celebrator creates taste. Does he now? I never thought of it that way. The stars, the designers, the club owners. Hey, make your jobs easier by telling you what to do. It's a thankless tax. Show our friend the sights, L. I'll take the controls. You really don't have to show me anything. I've vlogged every inch of this town. This is gonna be good now. You know what? I don't think you ever seen Liberty City like this. What's it doing, Tony? Catch the Celebrinator before he, um, uh, hits the ground. And it can be a bit difficult to try to catch him. Ah, I think I missed him. Oops. <laughs> um, haha. <laughs> um, haha. <laughs> I think I, um, I think I missed on catching him. Because I remember it was, a, a bit frustrating trying to catch him. Um, <laughs> that didn't go well. Um, Tony's calling. Ow. 
There's a big celebrinator shaped mess somewhere, T. He ain't gonna be blocking <laughs> no more. Not exactly what we're looking for, was it? I don't know what the coroner's gonna think went on, but we better lay low. Let's talk soon. I don't know what the coroner's gonna think, but we better lay low, okay? Let's try this one more time. <laughs> Okay, let's see if we can now. You should lose some pounds, bro. You're too fucking heavy. Get after him, help! Okay, let's see if we can catch him now. Okay, we got him now. Okay. There we go. Second chance at life. You're a fucking miracle. What's that smell, man? That ain't cool, bro. There you go. So the celebrinator crapped himself. Somebody should blog about that. <laughs> it kind of looks like you had a little accident. Someone might post a picture of that online. I feel like shine. Oh, we got 100%. Look at that. Okay, T. He's an annoying little fuck, but I think we saw eye to eye by the end of it. He ain't gonna be giving us no smack talk no more. That's excellent news. We should schmooze these citizen journalists more often. It would be my pleasure. Oh, who's this? Hello. From out of your club, I'm Ray Bulgarin. Oh, yeah. You're the Russian who was asking about gold cookers and corpses. Yeah, I'm sorry we couldn't accommodate. I did not take you for the sensitive type. I'm spending some time here while I'll catch up with some old friends, and I need help with some things. I'm told you are the man to talk to. Listen, man, I got a real busy schedule. This is not an opportunity you want to miss out on, especially as I hear that gay Tony Prince's ship is sinking. Yeah, I don't know where you heard that. Just come to my house. We will talk. Okay, so we can go meet Bulgarin now. Oh, Tony again? Have you heard the news? Evan's definitely dead! Okay, we expected this, don't? Don't freak out. He was an asshole. My guess is, he was intending to steal them diamonds when the bikers got him. Okay, Evan was a conceited dick, a lowlife, a whore, a drug peddler, and a thief. He treated me like dirt. That's the kind of guy I like! You should start going back to the shrink, bro. Screw you! Anyway, that doesn't solve the diamond issue. Rocco's saying we owe him his share of the profits on top of everything else. This ain't good, man. But we'll find a way out of it. You've been in worse case before. I'm counting on your leadership. You believe those stories? Wow. I never took you for an idiot. I just pretended to know what I was doing. I'm a schmuck who got lucky. Shit. We really are screwed. Yeah, so that's not good. So, um... Uh, the di he's, he's lost two million dollars for diamonds. Um, yep. Definitely not a good outcome. And now he's in debt to Rocco still. Yeah, let's go to Take the long way. Thank you, bro, very much. So this right here is Bulgarin's house in Dukes. Yo, Mr. Bulgari here. Yeah, Timur is really scary. He's, um, I think he's even scarier than Bulgarin. That's, uh, that's Bulgarin's right-hand man. I don't care hey. if he does want to sell. I want to buy. How much did you offer the last time? Double it. Offer 20 million, and then we see if it is not for sale. If this painting is not hanging on my wall, your hat will be, okay? Think about that. You want I should pay visit to his children at their school? No. Uh, Not yet. But then there's always a price in this city. The fact that oh. he even considers that, oh, that's excuse so... Excuse us. We have been rude. Don't worry about it, man. I like the setup here. 
These guitars are all collector's items. Celebrity rock memorabilia. Okay, man, good for you. Got a nice place here, Mr. B. That is piece of shit. I bought it for my sister. Hey, you bring me to this fucking country and you keep me in an ugly cage. No one on TV lives in fucking do. I'll explain what that means a little bit later. Shut up, bitch! Take your pills! A friend of mine is here! Ha! You don't have any friends! You don't even have a business here! You are nothing in business! My country. sister! She's still getting adjusted! We all are! So how can I help you? Fuck you, Ray! You have ruined my life! Yes! Yes! <sighs> a difficult situation. It seems I'm being investigated by the National Office of Security Enforcement. There is a particular unit that has a hard on for me. And why? Because Mark Yashwili won't sell me the rampage. You'll get rid of them. I will own this fucking team. Hey, the problem ain't just gonna disappear over here if we kill some crooked cops. Leave that strategizing to me. If the money tells you to cut your fucking legs off, you'll do it. Because the money is better than a fucking leg. The money is making the plans. That's the American way. All right, man. Thank you. I like you. I make you rich. I make you man. Maybe I'll make you a man with one leg, but <laughs> I'll make you a rich man with one leg. There is this team tracing a cow mine. Take out the whole team. No exceptions. Okay, man, if that's what the money wants. You're a bright guy, Luis. I still like you. You made a good choice coming here. Tag man, no good. Go. Roll the bitch. Ting, 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 ting. So um, uh, this is the same Roll guy the that tries to kill Nico, and it's kind of weird because that mission, um, the cutscene, it seems like Bulgarin and, and um, Timur aren't going to come with you, but they do. Now, one thing I want to say before the conversation starts, when his sister actually says, no one lives in Dukes, um, uh, uh, no one on TV lives in Dukes, you brought me here, um, what, they're, what Rockstar is basically making fun of is that Dukes is based on Queens. That's a borough in New York. And um, Queens, a lot of people regard Queens as a, a suburb. Of New York City, not actually part of New York City. It is part of New York City, but there are like running joke where people consider it a suburb of New York City, but it's connected directly to Long Island, and so that's you know what she was basically referring to. And Rockstar was making fun of that. Um, uh, there is some people that like don't really consider Queens part of New York City. It's kind of stupid because Queens is part of New York City, um, but it's um, you know that's the joke they were getting at there. Take these sticky bombs, Lois. We will need them for our news friends. I don't need no bombs, bro, but I will need one of them MGs if I'm going to take on the noose. So we get the light machine gun in this part. It's good to have you with us, Luis. Yeah? Yes. It must be nice for you to get out from the of the big party. I don't know what you're implying, bro. Tony and me are partners. I got a stake in the Enterprise. <laughs> a stake? Sure. You still take orders from him. Don't. You cut up his shit. Luis. It could be much more than that, unless you enjoy working for such a man, partner, whatever you call it. Really, bro? I don't know. When I was left to my own devices, I got locked up. At least with Tony's guidance, I ain't doing time. Perhaps, for now, perhaps. But do you think you're achieving everything you could? A man with your talents, in your condition, you could have anything you want. I didn't get to where I am without being able to see the worth of man. That's real flattering, Mr. Bulgari. But whatever it is you're offering, I'm gonna have to decline. Me and Tony's is a business relationship. He gets his kicks elsewhere, but he's been a good boss to me and a good guy. Help me out. I'm not a fucking faggot! Whatever you say, bro. But what are you talking about? I was saying that I may be interested in investing in your potential. Potential as what? As a businessman, I am looking for someone here in Liberty City with the correct relationship. I already got one employer. Like I said, he's been good to me. Of course, but what is he? He is a drug addict, a madman. You are useful to him, but you think that is all he wants from you. 
When some new muscle-bound pretty boy comes along, he will forget about you and your precious stake in the Tony Prince Empire. Whatever, bro. Can we talk about something else? What am I doing here? You are helping me with my business. This don't seem like legitimate business to me, man. Nothing can be achieved here in Liberty City with actual pigs rooting through my affairs. For anything to happen, they must be eliminated. Okay, man. You really can't buy these people off? Sometimes a price is more effective if paid out of lead, not gold. This is the first lesson I will give you. Okay. Now this, if you actually wait, Tony will actually call. Hey, man, what's up? What do you mean, what's up? Where are you? Look, man, I, I'm taking care of some personal business. I'll come see you later, okay? I'm cracking up here, Luis. Hurry the fuck up. How long are you gonna be? I don't know, man. I, I, I gotta go. Your master calls? Yeah, man. I see. And does he know that you are here with us? No. Interesting. I guess so. So in this point, Luis is going kind of behind Tony's back by working with Bulgarin. And um, uh, and the thing is, a lot of players don't know about that phone call because you most players get to the parking garage before that phone you call is triggered. But if you lot. wait, this will um, uh, you'll get that call. Now this Mark mission, this I love this mission. Pillar. This mission is so epic. Um, now basically, what's going on here? Is, do you guys remember that corrupt noose unit that actually tried to uh, get rid of Yusuf Amir and take over his business with Tahir and Ahmed? Um, that was, um, uh, place the bomb on the front of the car. Okay, so it's, we gotta hide the bomb. Okay, let's put two. And, um, uh, and so basically, this same corrupt noose unit is threatening Bulgarin. This news team is in charge of half the drugs running in the city. Do not let your conscience worry you. Now, Luis, we see if you can handle this. So this is the new machine gun me. in uh, the I'm ballot. I'm sure we weren't taking on the National Office of Security Enforcement, but that's a different matter. I see the target car. Let's set up this Russian and get out of here. Detonate when they come to the car, okay? So look, they're going to try to plant evidence in Bulgarin's car now. This is gonna be epic right now. I remember there's gonna be a guy that's gonna be coming in with the briefcase. What are they doing over there? Okay, there he is. Oh! I just love all the car alarms that go off in this mission. It's just crazy. More coming in. I love this gun so much. Look at this thing. M249. Look at all the smoke that's in this garage. I just love it how all the cars are just flipped and all the alarms are just going off. This is so cool. This corrupt unit is pretty big. Look at the mess that we've left. Damn. Who's in charge here?
there we go. We're out. Bulgarin took a lot of shots there. Take Bulgarin and Timur back to Bulgarin's house. Okay. But we definitely left a mess back there. Man, I, I just love moments like this in GTA 4. Like, you just blow up all the corrupt cops. I still have smell of meat in nose. Bro, it's true. You are one who blew them up. That you did lose a serviceable job. Boss competent. How'd I get myself into this shit, man? You didn't get yourself into this? I choose you. I pick you out because I see potential in you. You're lucky to be here. Yeah, great, thanks. But if you need more cops taken out, crooked or otherwise, you ain't choosing me. Have a nice day. Look at this. The sensitive modern American man. You need to go home and exfoliate your bolts. May as well cut them off. What the fuck is this? I don't like killing government agents, so I ain't got no boss. Be a brick. Okay, calm down. We got no more law enforcement to expand. For now. Those who are the only guys smack ahead of us. You think he will sell? He has no choice but to sell. We have taken away his protection. It's that simple, is it? It should be. Maki is a weakling. He lives here in exile, like old Howards. But he has been here for a long time, so he has bought connections that others of us have not been able to acquire. This little creep should have severed a good deal of those connections and will give others involved a pause before they continue their association. Okay. Perhaps I will buy clubs of you as well. You sell them to me? Them clubs is levers to the max already, mate. I don't know if there's anything left to sell. I don't care about other investors. They will forget about debts if I'm involved. Some of these investors aren't the type to go away. They aren't the type to pay off either. Anyway, it's not my place to sell them. I have a stake, but Tony's got the controlling share. Ha! Ha! Of course! Tony pulls the string, and the little puppet man dance for him. Let me know when Tony next has hand up your ass, and when Triloquist, Dami can talk. Fuck, man. What's wrong with you? Your stake is bullshit. You think you run the club? But you are still just sick, you re You are Tony's gimp, and you won't admit it. It's not like that. This what you want to do your whole life? No, but seriously, bro. I have opportunities for you. Think about them. Think about what I said to you. The offer will not be there forever. Okay, I will. Send my regards to Big Tony. So Bulgrin wants Luis to come work for him and stop working for Tony. Now, um, I'll say this about um, uh, a few things here um, about Bulgarin, for instance. Now, I think that you can actually call Bulgarin after this mission because there's actually a call with him. I think it's here. This is Ray Bulgarin, the Liberty City Phone. I call you back. Okay, so we can't call him yet, but I know that there is a phone call with him, that you can actually call him. But anyways, Luis does sit seriously consider working for Bulgarin. But now what I'll say about him is, um, uh, Bulgarin is like one of the richest characters in GTA. Now, Bulgarin is almost as rich as Yusuf Amir. He's, um, you know, almost like a billionaire, basically. Like, he has, you know, a, a, a crazy amount of money. And basically what's been going on there with that corrupt uh, news unit is um, there's um, a Russian oligarch named Mark Ashvili that lives in um, Liberty City. And uh, he's lived here for decades and he's bought connections and he owns the... Um... Oh, Desi here? Desi, what's up, man? Hey, boss. I'm just wondering when you think you're going to do a shift at the club. This place could do with that Luis Lopez magic. I'll try to put some time in soon, man. It's just been kind of crazy. Trust me. Look after things. Hello, welcome to we gotta get some health back. So, um, basically, Marcus Billy owns the Rampage, which is actually a Liberty City hockey team. And, um, what, what the? Whoa, 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 what the? What, what's going on here? What, I just eat a burger and I get attacked? Like, what, what's, what, what is going on here? Hey, I'm sorry. Okay, that's it. There you go. That's literally for interrupting my meal. 
and my my um uh, little um dialogue there. But anyways, um uh, what I was saying is that Markashvili, you know, rich um Russian Russian. Uh, I don't know if Mark. I don't know if Ashvili is a billionaire or, or if he's as rich as Bulgarin, but he's very rich. And um, uh, Bulgarin is one of the richest characters in the GTA um, uh, universe. I'm pretty sure he's even richer than Devin Weston. Um, but anyways, the the reason that I think Bulgarin is actually pretty rich is because when the Soviet Union came, um, collapsed, what happened was um, uh, the reason that Russia had gotten so many billionaires and people actually got rich really fast is because these people were former directors of like government agencies and you know government projects. And what happened was when the USSR collapsed, a lot of these same directors, they actually stole a lot of stuff from the government. So they stole stuff that used to be government property. They auctioned it off and stole it. So, you know, people that, you know, had huge shares and like, you know, they were directors of like these government, uh, you know, um, companies. They um, got full control of it right after the USSR collapsed. And so they became rich really quick and they became billionaires. That's why, you know, so many people became billionaires right after the USSR's collapse. They actually stole a lot of stuff. And there was a lot of corruption, and the Russian Mafia became really powerful right after the Soviet Union collapsed. There was a massive amounts of corruption in Russia in the 90s. And so Bulgarin is most likely one of those guys. He's one of those guys that was probably a director of like one of those government agencies, and right after the USSR collapsed, he ended up stealing a lot of stuff. That's how he got rich so fast. Hey, Tom. What's happening, bro? Besides my life falling apart in front of my eyes, not much is happening, bro. Someone told me they saw you driving around with some Russians. What the fuck are they? You've gone over to the dark side? Really? That's funny, man. Your friend must have been mistaken. Okay. Of course. Shit. The stress is really getting to me. Calm shit down, T. And don't take it out on me. I'll be by soon. Take care of yourself. So you see right there, um, uh, uh, Tony asked Luis if he was hanging out with some Russians, and Luis said no. Now let's call Bulgar in here. Let's, uh, see if we get that phone call with him yet. This is a uh, so we don't have that phone call yet, um, but I know you can call him. Let's do his next mission, dropping in. Imagine I get a copyright for them playing. That You know how stupid that would be? Welcome! Welcome to the party! <gasps> sit down! Sit down! Sure. Can I get you anything? A drink? Oh, something stronger. Huh? I'm cool, bro. You know how to play the drums? We need a fucking drummer. I ain't your man, bro. Sorry. You Spanish have the rhythm. Give us a fucking beat, man. You don't drum, but you dance, don't you, Luis? You dance. I can dance, man, but not with you and him. That's a shame. You dance, Mr. B. Money doesn't dance. The money doesn't dance, my friend. Okay, but you need some work done. Wait, wait, listen. Ooh. Ah, this is it. This is it. Ooh. Hey, can you ask the ape to stop playing for a second? You want I should stick fifty thousand dollar guitar up your ass? No, but I got some friends I can introduce you to. If that's how you get your kicks. <laughs> oh, funny guy. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. You have heard about Liberty City Rampage. The owner still will not accept my offers. I have been more than reasonable. You mean after you killed this special team of cops? It's weird. You want me to negotiate with him? No. The time for negotiations over. Do what needs to be done in his boardroom. Send a message. Hey, I ain't a hitman, bro. I mean, I'll fight anyone, do whatever. But I ain't a contract killer. The officers. Ah, in the me TV buildings. Getting yeah, in will not be easy. You'll have to find someone else, man. I mean, it's not my thing. I ain't qualified for that shit. I'm sorry. I wasn't discussing your career development. I was telling you what to do. Now, fuck off and go. Payachale. <laughs> So, uh, Bulgarin sent Timur over. We go to Eleport in Fish Market South. Let me show you guys something. There's actually a really funny fail call you get if you actually kill Timur. Put gun away. Wow, he can take a lot of damage.
Wow, okay, let's see how Timmer does against this. Damn, okay, he took a lot. Okay, now this is a really funny call. So if you call if you kill Timmer, you get a funny fail call to Bulgarin. This is just hilarious. Look at this. I'm afraid so. Excellent. Oh shit. We're getting our wires crossed, bro. I meant Timmer's dead, man. <laughs> this is not a funny confusion. I will speak to you soon. This is not a funny confusion. Oh man, that's just Oh man, that's that's Oh man, it's just that I, I just I just love that phone call. He's like excellent, and then he's like, oh, I mean Timmer's dead. <laughs> we must pick up Chopper. Go to airport. Hey, I'm sorry to break up your party, man. You look like you were having fun. Mr. Ray wanted me to keep watch on you. Make sure you do what told. Hey, I don't need no watch. Mr. Ray think you do. Shit! You think I won't be here? Whatever. Okay. So? So fucking what? So, what's up, bro? Fuck off. Chill, man. I'm just trying to converse with you. My job is hospitality Your and... job is kill Marky Ashley for Ray Bulgarin. Dimmer, bro. I like to think I can talk to people. I try to put them at ease. Make them open up. Sure. They open up when you shoot in their head. You put people in the ground, my friend. You kill her like me. That's what Bulgarin wants you to do. So that's what you do. Hospitality is for weaklings. You're hard work, bro. Fuck you! You are hard work! Don't even know what you are. Hey, I know who I am. Sure I do bad shit, but that ain't who I'm gonna be forever. <laughs> I've heard this before. Fuck off! You want me to shut up? Good. Good. Great. Total fucking silence from here on in. So that's with um uh Timur, like he's a more scary guy than Bulgarin. You know, this this guy is one of the most cold-blooded killers I've seen, this guy right here. getting a peep out of me. Fuck, bro. In the future, can we just listen to the radio on these trips? Okay, here we go. Take command of Chopper! Like how he says, take command of Chopper, instead of flying the Chopper. We go above Star Junction. High as you can go. I'm gonna swing out over the Brooklyn Bridge. We'll gain some height and come back over the city. Here is a headset. I will tell you what you must be doing with it when you're inside. Just what I always wanted. A hotline to a fucking charm. <laughs> Can you tell me what the plan is? Ashfully office is in neat TV building. You no going to get in from ground, so you come in from above. Out the chopper? Great. He's not so tough. I would do, but there is chance Ashfully's people come for my family back in old place. And you ain't worried about my family? No. Tell me why we can't just land on no. the building. You think they would not notice Chopper landing on building? You must go in silent. Perfect. When you get in building, I will give instructions through headset. You kill Ashfeli, send message and leave building. I pick you up on ground. Sounds real tough for you, tough guy. So uh, he's like, uh, they'll come after my family. And then and then Luis is like, you don't, you don't well, what about my family? You don't care about them? He's like, no. <laughs> Man, look at that view of Algonquin or Manhattan. I just love that. We nearly here. When you go, I will take controls. Okay, now we parachute. Oh shit! Okay, let's land on that roof. Have fun in there. You gotta remind me why I'm doing this. 
And so uh, Luis is gonna go in um, through the roof and get rid of Ashvili for um, Bulgarin now. Ashvili doesn't seem like um, a decent man though. He has connections to the corrupt cops and um, uh, and uh, judging by what Timur said, he has access to hitmen as well. Camera spotted us. There is someone on roof. Find out what is up. So they see Luis, um... This shit I know. And what's kind of funny, if you look at that scene carefully, the now. Russian gangster on the desk is on lovemeet.com. I love this mission. This is one of my favorite missions. You know, Bulgarin's missions are all pretty good. Um, I got access. Find Ashvili and take him out. Okay. I like how we get the P90 start out. Um... Okay, now we're on the office floor. How'd he get in here? Come on, you little bitch! You are not... Where the fuck are you, man? The Kremlin, that's the Russian me, government. Shit. Tell me who you are. Oops. Damn, man, you there? That's really dead. That's him. He can't Probably get out of here because there's um uh, guards that actually come here. Yeah, time to jump. Now, if you land on Timmer's truck, there's an extra cutscene. You don't have to land on his truck to finish it, but... Look at the ambulances. It's going towards the building. Isn't that cool? Ah. Oh. I, I was about to... I was going to land on the truck, but the, the street light interfered with that. And Timur actually laughs if you miss the um, uh, drop off. He's like, "Good luck," and you gotta deal with the cops when you this run away. They will be pleased. Ashley, no more around. They're great. Tell them I'm not his fucking hitman, okay? That's not why I'm hanging with him. I am sorry, Mr. Hospitality Man. You do what Mr. Ray says. That's it. I see you soon. Stick your guitar up your fucking <laughs> ass. Let's see if we can call Bulgarin now. I know you can call him. Luis Lopez. There we go. Hey, Ray. What's up? You have thought about my offer? I told you where I stand. This is not like thing in your American supermarket. It has sell by date. There are others in this city who would kill for this opportunity. Shit, man. I already killed for it. I'm thinking, all right? Then think harder. Goodbye. Not a lot of people know about that call, so you got that extra call to Bulgarin there. 
But um, I guess we'll leave it off here, guys. Um, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everyone.